Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I want to show you a little bit about the vocabulary used when uh, working with rational functions. So let's first start off with what is a rational function. To make a rational function, you start off with two functions, let's call them P and Q, and you divide them. The important thing about these two functions is that both of these are polynomials. Now, of course, anytime we work with division, we have to be a little bit afraid of dividing by zero. So one additional requirement is put on our bottom function here, q. We want to make sure that q is not equal to zero. A lot of the vocabulary you will hear with these rational functions uh, have to deal with fractions. Uh, the top we will call your numerator, and the bottom we will call the denominator. Now, when it comes to the graphs of these rational functions, uh, there's also a lot of good vocabulary that goes in with those. So let's quickly take a look at graphs. In the graph of a rational function, uh, they're often not continuous. There's usually some sort of gap or maybe even some sort of asymptote. Uh, the asymptotes are, are usually a pretty key feature, but not all rational functions actually have these asymptotes. We'll cover some types of asymptotes and really just what to look for. If you've never heard the term asymptote, uh, the way I like to think of it is it's where the function wants to go. Let me show you some examples. Uh, suppose I'm looking at my rational function and I graph it and it turns out something like this. Now, this vertical asymptote would run straight up and down right about here. And so imagine a straight line straight up and down. And what we're actually seeing here is that the graph wants to get really close to this line, uh, even though it never quite gets there. And what's forming this line is that uh, Q function in the bottom, uh, the value would normally equal zero at this value. But since it's not allowed to equal zero, since it is in the denominator, instead we're getting this vertical asymptote. The way we describe something like a vertical asymptote is we say that the value of the function is approaching infinity. So whether I'm approaching on this side and I'm going to positive infinity, or this side and I'm going to negative infinity, the function is going towards infinity. Uh, and this happens as x approaches a value. So maybe this is the value a here. Uh, these could tend towards positive infinity or negative infinity, either one. Horizontal asymptotes are uh, pretty much the same thing. So let's draw one in here. Only we're more concerned with them horizontally. So let's draw one left and right. There we go. So again, you can see that the function wants to get really close to this line. So it's tending towards that value. Uh, the way we describe this one is we say that the value of the function is now approaching some sort of value. Let's call it B. So that would actually be where this line is located. And the function is approaching that value as X now approaches either infinity or negative infinity. Uh, so you can see that as the x values are going out here, sure enough, the function is getting close to b. As the x values go towards negative uh, infinity, again, the function wants to go towards b. So maybe we'll even put a nice little plus or minus on here. All right, and one last type of asymptote that you might see with these rational functions is a slant asymptote. These are also sometimes called an oblique asymptote. So now our function wants to look like the slant. Maybe something like that. Now a function could, uh, a rational function could have uh, any type of asymptote, like a vertical or a horizontal. It might even have more than one type built into it. So maybe it has a couple of vertical asymptotes and a horizontal asymptote. Also keep in mind that a rational function might not have any asymptote whatsoever, but oftentimes they will not be continuous. Well, that's a little bit about the vocabulary. In future videos, look for how to graph these and how to recognize where these vertical and horizontal and slat asymptotes are just from looking at the equation. Thanks for watching.